Right, let's have a look, see how this thing's doing. Let's uh, remove this lot and see what's going on. So, this is a couple of days later, it's a few days later, because of things going on. So, some of this will come apart easily. Oh, there you go, bit of glue. That's all right, that's okay. I'm just about, the bits I've been worried about are the ones going over the glue, actually. Yeah, it's holding on. That one's not holding on at all. That one's not holding on. So there's a bit of an excess glue thing going on here. Um, best way if this happens, possibly the best tool for doing this. Ready? One, two, three. There you go. Nothing too disastrous. It was going into end grain, so it wasn't gripping fantastically. Okay, this is good. This is really good. So it's still down. It's still... Let's have a look, see what's going on. So yes, I put the three cramps on it. And uh, the next bit to do is to route those. But I just want to see... Let me just... Oh yeah, it's... It, this sticks to the formica. This is why formica is great. Look at this. Wow. So, flat surface. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, it's going to twist. It's going to twist. Not bad, actually, considering it's on the formica. Um, yeah, we'll get that out. So I'll clean this off. Let's get you in the stand and then we can see what's going on. Right, I've done this side already, so if you guys watching, uh, I'm just sorting this out. So I've just measured it and uh, I've, for some strange reason I've gone imperial. So it's 7 and 13 sixteenths there and it's 7 and 13 sixteenths here, which I would expect that because I cut the two at the same time. But this tapers out, so all I've got to do is just, can you see this here? I've just got to take you off this end. So yeah, taping a bit, but we'll sort that. So it won't take long. Um, Ooh, what's going on? Oh, I'm not pushing it over. Enough. So I sort of want it square, but I also want to. Um, I don't want it to come off that end yet. I want all that end. And this end to still be 7 and 13 sixteenths. So I'm trying to just take, the, take this end off first, take it from here, and a bit longer, a bit longer, a bit longer, a bit longer, and then join the two up, which is the way I teach. Which is the way I teach the guys how to um, play. Now, look, we're getting somewhere now. I'm not worried if I go off the end and it breaks out because it's 10 mil too long, remember? Nice, not bad, not bad. Better. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to stop there. That was straight through. So let's have a look. Uh, 7 and 13. That's actually spot on 7 and 13. Oh, it's just under the black line, so it's not half a mil away. That's fine. Right. I'm now going to... Let's put that over there. I'm going to bring these two beauties in. Um, and on here, I'm just going to set it up and see what looks good. Does it matter about looks? No, not really. I just want... Um, or well, that feels better with that going like that. I wonder if that... You sort of get a feel for how it looks. It looks great, these joints are... So I just need to run the plane over these. But, you know, these are straight off the saw. And um, they're looking very good. And in fact, if, if you go back to the... Can you see me? If you go back to the... Um, if you go back to the Gandolfi video, which I'll put a link up because it is such a good video. If you go back, back to the Gandolfi, 
he runs his plane once or twice over pieces of wood. That's it, which is what I'm trying to do with some of it. Um, you've, you'll have seen that. Um, but he's, he's also, you know, some of it, if it's right, straight from the saw, run it over once or twice. We'll just see what's... So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put a couple of marks on here. Watch the knife, Jamie. So that's already great, but I'm still going to put one line through there. This is going here, uh, and I'll do two through there. So let's put, let's work this out. And if I put that there, I might just have enough room. As you can see, this, um, this shooting board could do a bit longer. So here we are already. Um, it's 19 inches approximately. Uh, my usable space is probably when that's there, when you don't want to balance it. But yeah. Anyhow, one of the days maybe, but not today. So I'm just after maybe one. That feels pretty good. That feels pretty good. Yeah, so that'll do that one. And this one. Push it up to there. Up to here. Oh. Well, that'll do me. That'll do me. Felt good. It looks blooming marvellous. So that'll do. So what I'm going to tell you is, um, I'm doing this as quick as I can now. This has been out of the, off there for a little bit now. Um, I've got, I know I've got some height issues here and there, but I just want to get this, the groove put in here now very quickly, glue it back together. So I'll get on with routing these. You don't need to watch that unless you want to, I don't mind. get this um there you go. again needs a bit planing off it Just be patient with some of this. Sometimes it's just easier to push it in from the end. But it needs some playing off those again, so I'll do that and I'll come back to you. Right, that's for the one edge, this is for the other. Let's use the time saving that was in the um, that was in the last well in earlier wasn't it it was in earlier but it was in the Gandalf thing so let's get some glue on these I don't know whether you just noticed that but one of these is thicker than the other one's a few more wider than the other but I've still got to sort out the um, 
the width so what I can do as a crafty move is I can measure each of these pieces of wood and make sure that they end up when it's finished the correct width which is great never make anything dead size unless you confident that the dead size is going to work right a bit more glue in there I don't like tilting those like that but and a bit more in there so let's start getting these things in so this is so do you remember on the earlier I um this tongue is a little bit loose in here. Uh, do you remember on the earlier one I alternated these? Yes, 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 that's right. So I'm alternating them again. Why? Well, I forgot on the earlier piece. Does it matter? Not really in this piece. The door, I, I made the door, uh, I was very, I was quite stressful about the door. I was making sure that the door um, was strong enough because it's going to be opened and shut. This this sliding door part now is going to spend most of its life shut. That's it. It's not going to be left open. It's not going to be open to the elements. It's inside the camera. It's um, pretty much protected all the time. So it'll get used to being in the in its position. So let's get these. Right, uh, back to Gandolfi again. Labour saving. Let's get this glue on here as quick as we can. Not as good alternating to glue up. Easier the other way. But. Run the fingers down there. How's that looking? Turn them over, same again. Easier probably because they're not moving around now because they've got some glue holding them in. Don't forget, don't forget to push your uh, the cap down on the glue. How many of us do that? How many of us come back to our glue and go, oh flipping heck, I forgot to put the forgot to put the lid down on the glue. Right, there we go, those two are done. And what's Jamie gonna do now? Yep, more glue on here. Don't put the glue away just yet. So, um, worth noting, I put the groove in from the um, face side. I'm going to put face side up because this has always been face side up. So as I drop this on its surface in a minute, more glue on here. I'm, I want to make sure that there are no voids. And it's warm today, again, weather's gone mad. And I've got a couple of... Um, Dry areas. I'm happy. Number one. It's that one. Let's put them together. 
Is it going to go together? I've gone from I've gone from um, one strip to bits and pieces. There you go. I'm going to have to clean some of this glue off. Look at it. Wow. Let me get something to clean this glue off because this is uh, this is messy. Right, let's see how we're doing. Fancy using a chisel for that. Let's um the reason I've used a chisel is so that I can get it off the four mica quickly before I that's nice. That's better than before. It wants to go down into the channel rather than straight onto the edge, and I want it on the edge, but I also want some in the channel as well. This um This glue will be gap filling as well. Right, what did I just say? Let's wipe it over the four mica, get the muck off there. Right, here we go. That goes down there. Let's move those out of the way. This is number two. Number two goes in. I don't know whether you guys can see, can you see? Yeah. There you go, there you go, come on. Come on, here you come, come on. There you go, done it. Brilliant, right. Three cramps. We've got, um, we've got a bit going on now. Um, Ah, this can't go to this end, doesn't it? Let's just slide that that way. So just to make sure, oh, they flush that end. Okay, so I've made it flush that end. Is that the wider or narrow end? It's worth knowing. I don't want to mess up now. 91, 92 and a bit. Oh, darn it. That came off there so easy on the last time that I'm not going to worry too much about it. Oh, this is nice. Right, let's put these out again, over the joint, near the corner, over the joint, near the corner, over the joint, near the corner, not going to worry, as I say, not worried about the glue. Right, let's put that one on there, that one on there.
Right, that's it for now. As I say, don't forget to push the top down on your glue. This is looking good. Anyhow, you can see the excess glue, which is great. I'm not going to clean it off. There's excess underneath as well. It's down on all four corners. The cramps aren't cramping it up too tight and twisting it. They're just gently pulling it together. That glue is going to go off inside there and do a brilliant job of holding this panel together. Right, let's see how this thing's fared up. It's been here a little while now because of the weekend and working on um, other things. So it's been here a few days, um, a lot more than it really needs, but you know something, in a way, to give it a bit more time, isn't a bad thing at all. So, let's get these cramps off. Bit rushed because I've got a student here in a minute and I want to get, I want to see what it looks like. I've waited for days. Well, it's stuck down, which is great. So around here, there is no gap on the four mica. It's just a little bit there. That's okay. This is down tight. A little bit there. That's fine. I'm, I'm happy with that. Right. So there we go. Door made. Thanks for subscribing. Buy me a coffee, guys. You guys are great. Buy me a coffee. Thank you. It's keeping me going. It's keeping me uh, helping a lot. It's making this possible now. So thank you. See you soon. Cheers.